Welcome to a new video, King Kobe here. Now in this video, I am going to share with you an interesting discovery that I made on Virtual DJ. Now I discovered this when I was recording one of the tutorial videos that um, I do. So this is it. You know, a lot of people argue or kind of complain that Virtual DJ didn't come with certain keyboard mappings that you will need. But I don't think Virtual DJ or the makers of Virtual DJ will do that because in previous versions, these keys were available. So why now? Why remove them? So this is the discovery I made. You know, most often, if you want to load a song, you will have to actually press these load keys, right? On the, or these load buttons on the software to load and then unload. Now, this is what I discovered that in as much as there is no and then the previous versions you just have to press enter on the keyboard and then the song will load but that is not the case in this one so this is what i discovered pressing the control key right and then the left key will load a song to the left leg that is deck a and then pressing the same control key and then the right key is going to load a song to the the right deck that is deck a so you can see that we have it here okay now that is not the main purpose of this this was just by the way another thing i discovered is that if we want to see other keys that you can combine with the alt key to perform certain actions then first you have to press and hold the alt key right i want to raise the gain a little bit so that we can put that in action. It means that you have to press and hold the Alt key. Immediately you press and hold the Alt key. The keys that you can combine with the Alt keys pops up, showing you what key you need to press on your keyboard to perform that action. So it means that pressing and holding Alt on my keyboard and pressing 1 is going to play a song. So you can see that the song is playing now the song is playing in deck a but my pfl is in deck b that is why i'm not hearing right my pfl is in deck b so pfl is like a pre uh, lesson okay so i've set both deck a and b as um headphones and as well as master so i'm not hearing the master song now i want to switch to i want to switch the pfl and it says that I need to just press the key just by the one, right? So I press, I press and hold Alt and then combine it with that key. And then it switches to, it switches the PFL to deck A. You can see that this, you can see that the headphone is lighted, right? If I switch back, I press and hold again, it switch back. If I want to stop, it means that I have to press Alt and then three and then it stops okay so there is an emergency play i don't know what that means probably i'll have to look at it and then come back again with another video but the emergency play so i press and hold alt and then i have to press the space key for it to play but it is not playing so i don't know what the emergency play does but i will definitely come your way with another video with how it works so it is divided into two for deck a and then deck b so this side from one up to six is for deck a and then seven up to the equal sign here is for deck b the same with um the sync the nudge left the pitch and then all that and if you also want to play the part one part two part three four five all that is here so these are the keys that you can combine with the alt key. So when you press and hold the alt key, you are able to, I mean, see the keys that you can combine on the keyboard to perform certain actions. So yes, Virtual DJ indeed came with some key mappings, but just that there is a little changes in, in it as to what to do. So if you also want to see which keys that you can combine with alt shift, there is also um, another option. So it means you have to press and hold the shift key at the same time 
and then you can see that these actions has been linked with the alt shift combination plus a key on the keyboard is that the same with control okay so for alt and control so far there is no um combination so it means that you can also do alt control and then you can see the actions on the keyboard here so i hope this video was helpful don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to also turn on your notifications and then also share the video to others so the name is still King Kobe. until i come your way with another video stay safe and make music not war see you another time